Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be. Today I'd like to discuss why we see dollar signs in formulas. Many people are not aware of the significance of dollar signs in formulas, but the idea is that it it creates what is called an absolute reference to a to a cell. And the way it works is this. If I wanted to calculate the commission on uh, uh, this particular sales amount at 5%, I would normally type in a formula equals A6 multiplied by F5. And when I press the Enter key, it gives me the right answer, 5% of 40,000. I'll go back to that cell and I'll use my little autofill button to copy the formula down. But what I see here is that there is no answer. And the reason for that simply is this, that in this cell, as you recall, we typed A6 multiplied by F5. When I copied the formula down, it took care of the A7 change as I dragged down through the row, down through here, but it also it also changed the cell reference to from F5 to F6. Well, there's nothing in F6. So what I need to do is to go back to this cell and I'm going to click on the F5 and press the F4 key and that puts dollar signs before the column and row references. Now if I autofill down Oops, I'll press enter first. Now if I auto-fill down, I see that my answer is correct because the cell reference is being referred to in every cell. It's looking at F5. So the dollar signs actually lock the, the formula reference to the cell that has the dollar signs surrounding the column and the row references. And that's called an absolute reference. I will also see dollar signs when the formula is referring to a cell in another uh, worksheet or file. So that's how they work, uh, folks.